Yo, 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 man. Welcome to a very special edition of For the Love of the Game. You feel me? All Star Edition. So we here, man. A couple couple hours after the after the All Star game, you feel me? We post it. Um let me address the beanie. I know there's gonna be some questions about the beanie, man. So like it's late, bro, you know, and and I was doing something before I recorded this video. I needed to record a video. The my my hair wasn't uh it wasn't camera ready, you know. So the way I look at it, it's like if you didn't brush your teeth, you know, you would you would try to talk less, you know. If something was funny, you wouldn't laugh, you would just giggle, you know, cuz you you're not going to put all those vibes out cuz you know you woke up this morning and left without brushing your teeth. If if you left the house without putting on deodorant and, and you smelt a little bad, you know, um you would try to move less, you know. You you wouldn't be giving no high fives. You wouldn't be doing a wave or nothing. You wouldn't be doing anything that, that's gonna have your armpits out out in the middle, out in the open. So, you know, if you don't do your hair, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna cover it. You understand? So cause I know some people are gonna wonder, like, what's up with the beanie inside? Boom, there you have it. My hair, it ain't camera ready. Don't don't ask me no questions about it. I already answered them. <sighs> with that being said though, man. We just wrapped up All Star Day, not even All Star Weekend. Um, so I'm I'm gonna I'm get right into it. What I before I get into the game, what I like and what I didn't like. Um, I don't know, bro. I was kind of iffy. You know, I knew I was completely iffy about the dunk contest. Okay, I knew that. I knew I was completely iffy about the dunk contest. But as far as like how the day will go, I, I give them a solid. A solid nine, you know, pretty close to ten. They had the the Jack Harlow, uh, little baby, two chains, Quavo event, that two on two yesterday. They had uh, like Friday, uh, like knockout with some like influencers, some YouTubers, yada yada yada. So they had some knockout, bro. So that was cool. And then they had the skills challenge. I didn't catch the skills challenge, but the three point, the dunk in the All Star game all today, and, and I like the way they did it, bro. I really do. You had a three point before the game. You have the game. You have the dunk contest during half because they wanted the whole point was to have it in one day. So it's less travel. It's less in and out. It's not three days of people hanging out doing um, all star weekend festivities. You chop it down to a day. Now you can only do all star game festivities. So you try to they try to limit it. Um, I still heard it was pretty deep out there in, in Atlanta, but it is. And they're also one of the, the places that like wasn't too big on COVID. But whatever, whatever I'm saying that to say the way they did it, how they set it up. I almost I don't want to say they outdid themselves from last year because last year was perfect, bro. Just the new the news um, playing style of it, you know, dedicated to Kobe to have the 24 points added on reach the target. Last year was a closer game and it was the first one. So it was new to us. They was able to iron out some kinks this year. We come back. They do it all in one day. Um same thing, same target, still a Kobe Bryant MVP award all around before, like I said, before I break them down individually, I'm giving the weekend a solid 9 out of 10. The one point deduction is uh, from the dunk contest. I'm going to go ahead and get on that, man. Um, Cassius Stanley, Anthony Simmons, OB Toppin. Um, just off the names, you know, and I understand that maybe they sent invites to people and people rejected them. People didn't want to do the do the dunk contest. I understand. For whatever reason, they got their various reasons. But I knew off the names, okay, it's not going to be that much crazy stuff going on. I knew off the rounds, all right, that can the dunkers even really fully apply themselves? They got two rounds, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what can you do in two rounds, okay? So I had Cassius Stanley winning. Um, he he would have he might have you know he might have won if he would have been able to get his second dunk to go down. You know he tried to bounce and go under the legs. You know off the bounce. You know when Aaron Gordon did it, he he didn't even go off the bounce. Did he? I don't know. I know he did one over the mascot, but I feel like he did it again too, or or somebody did so. Also, the dunk contest is is hard to get creative. And then when you have guys, like I said, no knock to them, but you know, they not like the top dunkers. There are some guys who can dunk and who accepted uh, the invite. That's why they were there. But when you got guys who aren't like the top dunkers, 
it's going to take a while for them to, to do some more creative things. Uh, I feel like Anthony Simmons even won the dunk contest because of, like, his dunks were better than the field. But, like, his dunks were not crazy. Um, he did go up to the to the top of the backboard almost and, and grab the ball off the, the, the fake goal, a little sticky nerf goal or whatever, and dunk it. But my thing with that, and I said this kind of like with the Aaron Gordon thing last year, it's like, I understand jumping high, okay, is is that shows off your bounce. I totally understand that. But to me, you got to do something, bro. I, you in the dunk contest for a reason. We know you got bunnies. So you jumping up to the top of the backboard, grabbing the ball, and dunking it on the lower rim, the 10 foot rim, is cool, but I need a little more. Like, people call me crazy, but... Off topic real quick. Aaron Gordon last year, he dunked over Taco Fall. I know Taco Fall 7'6", but all he did was grab the ball over the man and, and dunk it like. I don't think that was better than a, than a windmill from the free throw line or between the legs from the free throw line. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think. I, I felt like Derrick Jones was supposed to win. I don't think that was like such a good dunk over Taco. Let's get back to this year. Obi Toppin has him. His first dunk was impressive. You know, the bounce through the legs, the reverse. That's impressive. Um, like I said, Anthony Simmons, his second dunk. I mean, he he almost I level with the rim, man. So, like I said, they weren't crazy dunks, but they were enough to win the championship. I'm not gonna knock the man Anthony Simmons 2021 slam dunk contest. That's all it was. I do think it was the weakest event. All right. Um, and that's that's facts. I think the star level wasn't there, right? Like those guys in the dunk contest were not stars. They were good enough guys to complete some dunks, put on the show. And do exactly what we needed. We got some good dunks. We seen some highlights. Anthony Simmons took home the championship. Obi Toppin threw some down. Cassius Stanley threw one down. His second one, like I said, he couldn't get his first one to go. He had to throw down a regular dunk. And then Anthony Simmons getting up all the way at the top. And then I level with the rim. That Hey, you can bring you home a trophy if you do something like that. I agree. Boom. Now to my favorite event, bruh. My, my favorite event this year was the three-point contest. And I want to give a shout-out, bro, to Mike Conley, man. A uh, 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 personal shout-out right here on For the Love of the Game because he made the all-star team. And, I mean, I was including this, but everybody's saying, like, it's like a class move. He's never made it, you know. So, like, they put him in because he's never made it. Which, you know, that could be true, whatever, whatever. But, like, he's an all-star. However you want to flip it, fold it, roll it, do whatever you want. He's going to say... One time All Star next to Mike Conley's name. It doesn't matter. Then I figured out he was uh, replacing Devin Booker in the three point, and I said, "Oh no way! No, 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 no way! He cannot replace Devin Booker in the three point." Okay. But man, he put on the show. You know, the only lefty in the competition. I was already sketchy about the three point because three names: Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Donovan Mitchell, and only because those guys are not. Your, your everyday catch and shoot three point shooters. They are shot makers. That's what Dwayne Wade kept saying throughout the contest. He was talking about Jason Tatum. They're shot makers, bro. You know, they, they are shot makers. They are off the dribble kind of guys. And honestly, Donovan Mitchell and Jason Tatum held their own for real. They came out, bro. The first round was it was amazing, bro. Uh, Jason Tatum came right out. He had 25. Zach Levine followed up. He had 22. And Mike Conley, special shout out to my man, he had 26, right? I think Steph came, he had like 25, 26, he was right around that range. So then the next day moved on to the next round were just Tatum, Mike Conley, and Stephen Curry. And Tatum, you know, he, he was able to have 17. Again, not your average catch and shoot, but he did better than, than I gave him that I gave him credit for. I thought Zach Levine was going to do better than him because Zach Levine has more of a jump shot, I think. More more fluid jump shot to me. Um, But Mike Conley gets 27, bro. Mike Conley was letting that thing fly. And, like, I'm that's why I'm giving him a shout-out because everybody's talking about he shouldn't be in there, he shouldn't be this, he shouldn't be that. But, like, Mike Conley in the three-point contest did two solid rounds that if he wasn't competing against the greatest shooter in the world, he would, hey, he would not only be a one-time All-Star, but a one-time three-point champion, too. He went for 27 in the final round. 
27. I think Steph's first first time he went for 30. <laughs> I think his first round he went for 30, bro. Just something retarded, you know, just something crazy, man. Um so he he did that. Um but Mike Conley, he for real did, bro. 27, he put on a show, but Steph came in, bro. And until his second, like, Mountain Dew ball, I think that got him, like, 15. But then he had a full rack of money balls before he reached the corner rack. So, <laughs> it's just Steph, man. Like, like just the shooter. Everybody was saying, if you get 27 in a final round of a three-point contest, you are nine times out of ten, you're good, bro. Nine times out of ten, you are good. And you could see when Steph hit, like, 21, they were showing Mike Conley on the little screen. And he, like, waving because he's like, man, this dude is not serious. Because, like, the whole building knew. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, when, when Steph catching fire, he hitting him. We knew Steph hits a game, a three-point contest winning three from the corner. Beats Mike Conley 28-27. In the last three, barely hit the net. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? Like what a what a better way to end it off, man. Two time champ, my man Steph Curry, the greatest shooter in the world, the greatest point guard to ever play the game. Again, leave it in the comments. I can argue all day. I don't I don't have no problems doing that at all. I can I can argue all day, my man. So the three point contest, that's my favorite event. Definitely a highlight, man. Cause I, you know, you just get to see the you get to see the greatest shooters. My man Steph won. He gave a shout out to Clay. When Clay come back, you know he's stepping right into the three point. Hopefully next year we can get dudes like Joe Harris and them back. Bradley Beal. You gotta throw my man Brad Beal in the mix. Brad Beal got that thing on him. Um, yeah. Hey, invite Mike Conley back if he's still here, cause he he deserves another chance to participate. Mike was hungry, bro. He ain't been in no All Star weekends. He knew when he got here, he was gonna show out, and and that's what he did. On to <laughs> the game, which which was exactly what I just called it. It was a game. Only one team was playing though. Only one team was playing this game, man. Team LeBron, bro. Um. Team LeBron were a stacked team, man. They 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 were stacked top to bottom. I'm a all stars are all stars, okay. So Team LeBron and Team Durant both had all stars, but everybody knew Team LeBron was a little more stacked. I'm gonna say this: since Team Durant did lose by 20, you know the score was 170 to 150. Since they did lose by 20, the only thing I'm gonna say is maybe just maybe uh, somebody who played on on the team should have picked the team. All right. Like, maybe KD picked the team where he was looking at a team with him being in it. But, no, he didn't because when he drafted, he knew he wasn't playing. So, like, I mean, that was not a valid point I just made. So, scratch that. Uh, but, yeah, no, somebody else should have drafted the team. I feel like because KD didn't play. He also lost uh, Ben and Joel late. You know, whatever, whatever. They still ball, man. But I'm going to read y'all Team Durant. So, it was Kawhi Leonard, Jason Tatum, Zion Williamson. Kyrie Irving, Bradley Beal, James Harden, Zach Levine, Donovan Mitchell, Julius Randle, Nikola Vucevic, Vucevic, Mike Conley. That's Team Durant. This is Team LeBron. Giannis, LeBron, Jokic, Luka, Steph Curry, Chris Paul, Jalen Brown, PG, Dane, Sabonis, and Rudy Gobert. Bronze team is stacked, bro, and, and and they won by twenty. Um, but the thing is, bro, like how they won, it was just like you seen all the the mutual respect on LeBron's team. Like when Giannis found out that was the team, you heard him say like it's over. Steph said they had a stacked team, and at the end of the game, you see like all the tweets from Bron, you know, about how it's been a long time coming that and he wasn't able to play with Steph, and then about how. You know, just just everything like that. How he how he respects him so much. Then you see Steph and Dame interacting, and Steph is saying like he's just dropping emojis on Dame because the way they ended that second quarter going into half is what we call a game. There was only one team playing, bro. I mean, when all when the game started, bro, and they just running up the floor, they just doing stuff, they shooting stuff. I'm kind of like. Uh, you know, I'm watching it, but I knew it was going to get good because I know the new, the new, uh, scenario, the new game plan, the way they play it now, you know, the target score, I understand all that. So I'm like, this is the first quarter. 
we're going to see, you know, the game evolve. The more they're going to play a little serious. But when they were shooting some of those shots in the first quarter and we was getting a feel of, like, they have Steph and Dame Luka even hit a couple from back there. But when Steph hit a, a catch and shoot from the tee and then did the one where he lost it, he bobbled it, and then he just turned around and threw the shot up against Zach Levine. When he shot those two shots, all right, and then Dame came in a little later, he pulled his half-court shot, I said, oh, yeah. I said, you know what? That That's what we want to see. But I think Brown didn't want so much, bro, because they were so stacked. But they really, I know it's an all-star game, don't get me wrong, but they really have respect for everybody. Like, the craziest stretch, man, is, is the play where Chris Paul threw the oop to Steph Curry on the out-of-bounds was really crazy is that, like, that was a play, bro, because... Giannis came around the first time for the oop and like he didn't get it because he wasn't open so I think that was like a decoy and Steph wrapped right behind him he gets a oop a perfectly placed dime from CP which my man has 16 assists tonight what do you, what do you have 6 16 and 8 in a in an all-star game for Chris Paul come on man he has 16 assists but he throws a oop to Steph on the very next possession, Steph throws a oop to Chris Paul. Steph and Chris Paul are dunking. We seen Kyrie get up on the dunk. The very next possession, Dame crosses half court. Misses. Oh, he let it fly, though. He let it fly. He missed it. He missed it. The very next possession, Dame crosses half court. He let it fly. Cash money. What are you doing in the playoffs? Bombs away. Cash money. The very next possession, Steph Curry to in the half from half court. Knock it down, bombs away. So for like five straight possessions, bro, before going in the half, that was like amazing to see, bro. And to see that like they were hitting them. It's it's such a difference, bro, to have an all-star game where they're shooting those crazy shots or like attempting those crazy dunks, bro, but they're not making them. They're just getting like the oohs and ahs from the crowd, but they're not going in. We're seeing Dame and Steph shoot from half and make them. And they did it more than once. They did it more than twice. They gave us a show, bro. Like, it was it was a show, man. Giannis won the MVP. Just unfair. But these games are built for Giannis and guys like Giannis and Zion where it's all flashy, flashy. And they want dunks, man. They want to catch the oops. Nobody's contesting the rim. My man Giannis had 35.7 boards, three assists, and my boy went 16 for 16. Three for three from the trifecta. He banked two of them. I ain't going to take nothing away from your glory. This is your time. I'm giving you flowers, Mr. Kobe Bryant MVP. Shout out my man Kobe. You know what I'm saying? So, that man Giannis, bro, 16 for 16. It don't matter. He was winning MVP. I wanted Steph to win MVP so bad. This is my first year voting, bro. Me and the homies, we voted on, on the on the All-Star votes. My vote must not have mattered because, like I said, Giannis did win the Kobe Bryant All-Star Award. But then you go down, bro. And I, I wanted to say this just to talk about how, like, Bron and them won. It's just, just hear everything, man. So then Dame has 32. Dame came off the bench. Dame got 32 off the bench, and he hit, like, five of those threes. He ended it with, like, the last four, the last three or four possessions all from the logo. Steph had his time to end it. They had 167. He had his three. He missed it. Dame's turn was the next possession. He hit it. And that's how the game was, bro. Like, Dame was getting, like, a half-court shot, right? And, he, and if he missed, Steph was getting a half-court shot, and vice versa, bro. Like, that was... That was crazy, man. That was a show, bro. That was a sight to see. And then we go to Chris Paul. I touched him earlier. But he had six, 16 assists, eight rebounds. Also a game for Chris Paul with 16 assists. He, who, who you think feeding Giannis? Who you think, you know, got him the easy dump offs, the oops? How do you think all these shooters got the ball? This was Chris Paul's dream to just be out there and facilitate, man, and just, and just kick it. Be able to do whatever. Play mistake free. Throw a pass. Off your head, off the glass, off your leg. Do whatever you want. It's the all-star game. Steph Curry had 28. MVP. He should have got it. They lucky my man went a little cold in the second half. Because I don't care if Giannis went 16 for 16 or not. If Steph could have got like 40, which was definitely reasonable, he would have been MVP. But if you if you check this out, my man, you got my vote. I voted for you three times. In fact, I wanted you to get it, man.
I tried. PG off the bench too. He has 17. And PG had a couple a couple possessions. He strung together where he just cooking. Just just having fun. They had ultimate shot makers, bro. It wasn't even fair. Jalen Brown had 22. Another one off the bench. Jalen Brown did a behind the back spin move, fade away out of bounds. Nothing but the bottom of the net that had me sitting there like, yeah. You know, I mean, and this the best one of them all, man. That man, LeBron, played 13 minutes. <laughs> he had four points, bro. Like how LeBron said, man, he will be there physically. He won't be there mentally. You know, they were supposed to have this week off to rest. I think it turned out pretty good. I think they, they gave a show for the fans. LeBron was able to not play a lot. You know, he was still able to rest. No, he wasn't completely resting, but he was still able to get some rest and just like watch basketball. I did not mean for this whole video to be about Team Bron, I promise, or at least the All-Star game part, but, like, I didn't really feel like there was much to talk about over there. Bradley Bill came out the second half hot. Uh, Kyrie, they were cool. James was cool, but, like, they didn't have enough, bro. They just, the game was never close. The game was close for one quarter. That was the first quarter. LeBron and them took it away the second quarter. The third quarter, they took it away. And then they... Uh, Team Durant and them came out when it was time to play for the uh, the target score. They were playing a little bit, but like Jalen Brown hit like a three. He got fouled. It was a four point play. Pretty much kind of put it away. Kind of hurt hurt their chances of winning right there. I'll tell you that right now. So that just wasn't that wasn't the best thing for them. They couldn't win. They didn't have enough talent. Team Brown was too stacked. But shout out my man KD, because it, it is an all-star game. And and with his first pick, he picked Kyrie Irving. And with his per with his first pick off the bench, he picked James Harden. You feel me? So it is an all-star game. You know, you might not care about winning that much. Just pick your homies up. Stay loyal. I like the move by KD. Pick your guys up before anybody. It don't matter. But boom. That's that's my, you know, man, that's my NBA all-star day night recap like i said man solid nine out of ten the only reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 is because the dunk contest was mid but the three-point contest was amazing the all-star game itself was amazing um yeah and we we finna kick off the second half of the season we're getting into some meaningful basketball but we're gonna touch on that a different day so watch my last video right here subscribe to the channel right here and i'm gonna see y'all next week we out